In the vast world of engineering, oftentimes there's a disconnect between the world of design and construction, but for good reason. You can't really understand what you don't experience. Well, to address this issue in this week's engineering management lesson, we have Michelle Hayward, the founder of Positive Hire. She's gonna give us some advice on how to bridge that gap. Let's jump right in. What I would say is if you're going to be a design engineer, spend six to 12 months early in your career on the job site because you get a different viewpoint of what it takes to actually build a project. And you're going to be able to communicate better with field personnel as well as design better when it comes to projects. And then if you're looking at being on the construction side, I highly encourage you to take an office role, a design role, maybe project controls to really understand and respect the work that they do. I think it's boring, but during my time in the office, I saw how well they collaborated, how they thought through the pro process of actually designing. So it's really important that you do the opposite for six to 12 months because it makes you a better engineer you're really going to be able to hone in on the skills you need to either do work better on a construction site or to design better when it comes to the field. So that is my advice for all you early career civil engineers. I hope that you all have enjoyed that message from Michelle. And again, just to restate her point, gaining experience opposite of your career field will help you to understand the differences, the similarities, and how to bridge the gap between design and construction. Please consider smashing that like button, subscribing to our channel below, and also following us on our other social media platform. We produce videos weekly for our viewers to learn, connect, and become better managers and leaders in the engineering industry. I'll see you all in the next video.